Hey everybody, how are you? It's Rob Corris from the Dark Star Orchestra, and I'd just like to invite you all to check out my new podcast called The Music Plays the Band. The genesis of this was being home during this pandemic and not being able to work, so I started doing some Q&A so I could stay connected with the fans, because that's one of the best things about what I do is the connection that we have with the fans. And I started bringing along some guests, and I was really enjoying the process, and uh, some very good friends of mine, David and Jeff Lazaroff, also known as the Brothers Lazaroff, a uh, great production and songwriting team with a hell of a band here in St. Louis, approached me about putting a podcast together. Each episode will have a feature, long-form interview of me talking with some of your favorite musicians from the jam band world and beyond about how they got turned on to the dead and how it has influenced their careers. The first episode features my bandmate Rob Baracco, who has been playing with the surviving members of the Grateful Dead for the past two decades, in addition to playing keys for DSO. But tell me how you got into the Dead, and how and when you started playing Grateful Dead music. So, I was 14, uh, sitting in the living room of uh, a friend who eventually became the bass player of the Centricsters, Cliff Black. He picked up an acoustic guitar and just started playing this tune. And I sat there, I was mesmerized, and when he was done, I was like, what the hell is that? He goes, oh, that's a song by the Grateful Dead. Our second episode features jam band hero Keller Williams. Do you remember the first Grateful Dead song you played? Uh, it's probably Bird Song. Right you on, know, uh, You know, I would think, uh, you know, I, I would think there was like uh, probably a friend of the devil and a... And, uh, uh, Franklin's Tower was probably, you know, those are like the low-hanging fruit that you can kind of just like listen to and play along with if you have an understanding of, of you know, simple guitar chords. Both conversations uncover insights into the winding careers of real-life musicians and the expansive legacy of the Grateful Dead. Um, we also have a couple other really, really cool ep uh, segments that are a part of it. One is called the Sarno Music Solutions Breakdown with my friend Brad Sarno, and we're going to talk about some of the technical aspects, uh, mic techniques, the type of instruments, the way to get certain tones. You know, a little bit more technical, but really, really interesting. We have another section talking with uh, different members of Grateful Dead cover bands from all over the country. There's this vast network all over the country that brings these great communities together. So we're going to talk to some of those musicians and find out how they approach the music and what makes their community tick. And then the last section I'm really proud of is called the Black Music Moment, where we're going to take some time and just look at the immense influence that black music has had, not only on the Grateful Dead, but all of American music. So we're going to dig in and listen to some uh, not so well-known black musicians who had an influence on the Grateful Dead, and then some others that you, that you may know, but may not know their connection with the dead. So it's, I'm really excited about this. I really hope you all come along. It's called The Music Plays the Band, and I can't wait for you to check it out. Thank you all very much.